I'd now like to introduce Dr. Prakash Kumar Jha, uh, who is a lead uh, coordinator of agriculture. He has a bachelor's degree in agricultural sciences from the Banaras Hindu University, master's in agricultural climatology, environmental sciences, Indian Agricultural Research Institute, IARI Pusa, New Delhi, PhD in crop and soil sciences from uh, the Michigan State University, USA, postdoc at the United States Agency for International Development, Feed the Future Collaborative Research on Sustainable Intensification at the Kansas State University, USA. He's a geospatial crop modeler for African countries and chair of agronomy in Africa community at the American Society of Agronomy. He has several publications and has written many research papers, attended many international conferences on agriculture, water management, simulation models, remote sensing, socioeconomic survey of smallholder farmers. He's also an active volunteer at JIS. Thank you, sir. Namaste, Absaviko. <coughs> Dhanivad. Uh, it is a pleasure and enlightening to listen to all the learned speakers. Uh, I was told to talk about the just agriculture vertical and how it relates to our kranti. So no matter how it is defined, nutrition starts with what we eat. And when we say what we eat, that is the products of food and agriculture sector. So today we are celebrating the first anniversary of Ahar Kranti. And it is my immense pleasure to talk about relationship of agriculture and nutrition. And what as a gist we achieved in our first year. So we have a diverse ver a vertical called agriculture vertical in gist under the able leadership of Sri Sarad Mohanji, Dr. Ses Nathji, Sri Arun Pandeji, Dr. Pankaj Guptaji, and hundreds of other volunteers. So we grew like a visal over to bridge, we can say. We are also celebrating our first anniversary of agriculture vertical as we started our activities on May 11, 2021. So just agriculture vertical consists of stakeholders of the domain from domain across the world. Uh, I, as far as my memory is concerned, 24 all India service secretaries and joint secretaries from different departments of agriculture are uh, working with us. 34 senior scientists from ICAR, APEDA, Minister of Agriculture, they are working with us. We had deliberation from three Padma Award winners and Dr. Ratal Lal, uh, who is the World Food Prize winner of 2020 and serving as an advisor to President Joe Biden in US. Uh, he came to our platform, several cabinet and state minister came, several entrepreneurs from various parts of the world uh, through more than um, I think 50 webinar we did in last one year two physical program we did at ICAR and IISF Goa last year. Um, what we are doing, we are working on improving livelihood of good number of farmers. What we are doing, we are proud to inform you that we are providing many scientific solutions to our farmers in remotest part of uh, rural Bihar, you can say, rural Andhra Pradesh, rural Maharashtra as well. How we are doing, we are doing through different kind of various uh, FPOs, farmers producer organizations, and local organizations along with Bharti Kisan Sang as well. So for any organization, focus remains on uh, bringing people together or building a network in initial few years. We can boast upon the level of network we created in one year. Moreover, we also focused on working together, which includes some of the revolutionary work what we did. In next two, three minutes, I will highlight uh, quickly on agriculture vertical strengthen the Ahar Kranti. How we strengthen? As we all know, uh, a productive or a diverse or sustainable agriculture sector is recognized as a uh, recognized for healthy diets, uh, source for healthy diets, and improving human nutrition is well known. Even after pandemic, if you see many observers, many academicians. They, they continue to call attention to the importance of food system for shaping human health and nutrition. Uh, Dr. Srinivas Raoji is here. Kudos to Dr. Srinivas Raoji who conceptualized the very basic concept of Har Kranti and the able leadership of Yeloji and Rasmiji who made it a real Kranti, I can say. As Dr. Yeloji Raoji said that the Green Revolution averted global food shortage and saved millions of lives. The part of its legacy, however, we are doing right now is much emphasis on the calorie rich food like a staple rice and wheat and maize. So this calorie rich production system has limited the contribution of agriculture to meeting the most national dietary recommendation. What Dr. Uh, amazing uh, presentation by Dr. Ganesh, he was talking about the importance of nutrition as well. So when we say reshaping modern agriculture and food system to be more nutrient, nutrition sensitive, that should be our more focus. Instead, 
uh, we had in the past more focus on uh, providing supplement nutrients, nutrients, nutrients and uh, fortification. So what we did at Ahar Kranti and in agriculture vertical, we highlighted that Saman Jan Manas, we can say that a common denominator is uh, for all malnutrition and diseases that nutrition. So what we did at Ahar Kranti, we identified what are the basic uh, food and staple food they have, obviously rice, maize and wheat. Right. So the central question was that in one year, what we did, do agriculture inter interventions improve our nutritional status in the household? And the secondary question while we addressing was, what are the characteristics of those interventions that improve nutritional status of smallholder farmers or smallholder household, we can say. We found that in the agriculture vertical along with our Pranti that it is time to convince a small household to eat fruits and vegetables. What we could do, we identified, we listed the most common diet of household and what and how we can work on improving nutrition in that. So that's how if you see uh, Modi ji highlighted about the fortified rice, because rice is consumed by just Samani Janimanas, we can say, right? He emphasized that malnutrition is a hurdle in the development of women and children. Prime Minister Modi announced fortification of rice distributed under a PDS system and midday meal scheme. And he actually said that by 2024, we need to address uh, those malnutrition schemes through midday meal scheme. उन्होंने कहा था कि राशन की दुकान पर मिलने वाला चावल हो चाहे मिड मिल में हो हर चावल फोर्टिफाइड राइस होगा अगले एक साल दो साल में हमने क्या किया एज ए जस्ट एज अनाउंस एंड डिजायर बाय ऑनरेबल प्राइम मिनिस्टर डॉक्टर श्रीनिवास राव जी अभी बता रहे थे जस्ट टू कैन इनिशिएटिव टू वर्क ऑन दिस एग्रीकल्चर वर्टिकल ऑफ जस्ट प्रोमोटेड द कल्टिवेशन ऑफ फोर्टिफाइड राइस इन वेरियस पार्ट ऑफ द कंट्री इंक्लूडिंग द बिहार आंध्र प्रदेश छत्तीसगढ़ बाय एंगेजिंग ऑल स्टेक होल्डर्स scientists from icer farmers organization social organization and entrepreneurs all jointly took effort to make it a realization and we did it in the last year we grew heartfelt thanks to dr ak singh ddg extension for coordinating those activities special thanks to dr sinwas rao ji sri sarad mohan ji just usa for initiation and coordination of all efforts without support of countless farmers it was not possible and and the volunteers effort so pichle saal humne isf mein goa event mein humne logo ko mughal dhan fortified rice ki kheer ya payasam bana kar logo ko serve kiya abhi we recently we fed bihar ke remote areas mein jo school going children hai unko humne serve kiya hai pankaj ji hamare sath baithe hue hain pankaj ji gaye gaye the unke icr ki team ke sath wahan pe manniya jayant ji yahan pe hain our humble request to manniya jayant ji to highlight these activities on our platform so that manni pradhan mantri ji should talk these activities in man ki baat so it is our hope that um, agriculture nutrition and health communities can leverage the potential for a shared solution across sectors to confront the challenges of improving nutrition health and especially ending global hunger you can say when we talk on the nutrition perspective so my my uh, humble submission to jain ji is that please put forward to manni pradhan mantri ji so that he can talk on man ki baat our effort of ahar kranti in last one year धन्यवाद